Despair, the motivation of many. And these two may seem friendly on the outside, but on the inside, they are murder machines. Like Monokuma, the murderous teddy bear from Danganronpa. And Koro Sensei, the Reaper from Assassination Classroom. <laughs> I'm Domonos and I are Aqua, and we welcome you into the Realm of Gods. Life was pretty normal for Makoto Nayagi, until he was nominated to attend Hope Speak Academy the ultimate school dedicated to those who are great with a specific talent. But the true motivation of the school aren't what you would think. The truth is, the school was a trap for a dangerous killing game brought on by Junko Enoshima. Junko had a massive obsession with the concept of despair and had brought the world into despair using a little robotic bear. And his name was Monokuma. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me the main but the Dog and Mumpa series is a teddy bear? A teddy bear? You can never trust something so cute. I know from past experiences. Anyway, Monokuma was the instructor of the killing game within Hope's Peak. And also a group of machines that killed many, many people. See, the weird thing is, Monokuma is supposed to be controlled by Junko as an army of robots. However, he seems to have a mind of his own. And it makes no sense, dude. It makes no sense! No, it makes well, Aqua has their mental breakdown. Let's get into what Monokuma can do, shall we? First. Monokuma has claws which are able to cut through people like butter. He can also dance, baby! Let's go! Look at him! Oh, and he knows martial arts, I guess. This dude can also kick off Sokoro Gamma, who is considered the ultimate martial artist, who also kept up with the Genocide Jack, who cut through missiles! Still not as impressive as my body count. What do you mean by this, Aqua? July 19th, 2023. Be ready, Australia. Uh, anyway. You can summon rockets that shoot so high in the sky, they fly right by the sun and then crash immediately down to earth. He can summon spikes out in purple, and he can throw silver baseballs at a person to kill them in under a few seconds. He can also trap people in a cage and electrocute them to the point they turn into butter. He can summon fire trucks, stampedes, mechs, cook people alive, crush people with tetris blocks, summon a giant pac-man, and throw people into a volcano with a helicopter. Why don't we talk about his sheer power and durability? First off, Monokuma will kill of disperse in a cloud formation with other Monokumas. He can also scale to Nekomaru, who took a shit so large it cratered part of the forest and destroyed the walls of Hope's Peak Academy. Fucking excuse me? Did the need to go so hard with this one? With his mechs, Monokuma is capable of destroying large portions of buildings. This is through scaling to Kibo. For durability, Monokuma units can survive great balls, they can tank explosions, and survive all previous executions used to kill the students. And even if just a head is left, Monokuma is still kicking. Good thing my victims aren't like that. Okay, hold up, are you okay? Do you need to talk to someone? Like, I'm right here! I've been talking with somebody. Who? Your mom. I'm gonna kill you. Now, with durability and strength out of the way, let's talk speed. Monokuma is so fast, he can lose an after image. He sells to Montaro, who can skip type so fast it causes a fire. He can also scale to a king attacks. Let's put Monokuma at about supersonic. Supersonic? But he hates that hedgehog! What are you talking about? Through his scaling to Kibo, who can fly in tandem with a rocket that flew through Earth's core and atmosphere, he's at least Mach 7000. What are his weaknesses? While still being able to threaten heavy hitters, Monokuma is still a small robot, and they tend to play with their food before ending them. Overall, at the end of the stories, Monokuma will always end up perishing, yet his impact still will the most surviving students. I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! I still don't understand why he's so strong. He's a teddy bear. I want a teddy bear. So he's not a teddy bear. There's a murder at high school. But I can't go about some of the human superhuman. Superhumans. Not Satan's own son. While Dormanos goes to a mental institution for the help he so desperately needs. Let's move on to Koro-sensei. Class E was a class for the worst of the worst. Students, bad grades, constant detention, riding on the bathroom stalls, until one day that all changed, as a new teacher entered the fray. His name was Koro Sensei, and the students had one goal to kill him. So, I'm the one who blew up the moon? Huh? Koro Sensei was a major threat to Earth, as he himself stated Next year, I intend to do the same to planet Earth. However, prior to being a teacher, Koro Sensei was an assassin known only as the Reaper. The Reaper was known for his incredible skill in battle, until he fucked up and had to take an apprentice under his wing, who betrayed him and sold him off as an experiment to a scientist 
known as Kotaro. You know these experiments, Kono Sensei bonded with a teacher named Akuri. However, in a test to see how antimatter in Kono Sensei would react to death, a lab rat was sent to the moon and exploded, trained 70% of the moon. Now, Kono Sensei claimed this feat was his, which is not true. However, it was estimated he could realistically destroy the Earth in a year or so. Now, Akuri realized that they were going to try and kill Kono Sensei after this experiment, helped him escape all his die herself in Kono Sensei's arms. She begged of Kono Sensei to take her place in Class E. And so he did quickly becoming a beloved teacher over the school year. Man, what a happy ending. Let's get into some- How did Koro Sensei become such a love teacher? Definitely an aspect of it was his batshit awesome shenanigans. Koro Sensei, due to some experiments, was capable of some crazy shit. First, let's start off with his abilities. Koro Sensei, having already been experienced in assassination, is capable of killing in many different ways. He can create sounds that incapacitate opponents, or fire small projectiles that pierce the gap between muscle and bone. Wait, does that mean he can use Shut up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Koro Sensei is also immune to poison. In fact, poison only slightly affects his body in random stupid ways. His body also reacts to certain emotions. Well, his face at least. The main threat is when his face turns black, giving him perfect control over his powers. Or if he really is up to it, he can merge all of his emotions at once, becoming a powerful white light. This white light can shoot lasers that are powerful enough to destroy a second reaper that is considered stronger than Koro Sensei himself. He can also create webs using his tentacles, generate electricity, absorb water like a sponge. SpongeBob! You need to be stopped! Never! Anyways, he can regenerate near instantly and turn into his ultimate defense form. The ultimate defense form involves compressing into a small ball that makes him nearly impossible to kill. However, he cannot draw back this ability and it's permanent for a day. Koro is pretty intelligent as well, being able to up the grades of class E and being able to remove a tumor from a woman's brain. However, all these abilities mean nothing if his power isn't great, and Koro Sensei has some great power, being able to level an entire facility during his escape, and being able to crash into an entire mountain at fast speeds. Hell, he even broke out of a cage designed specifically for him. That's not even tanks to destroy. Koro Sensei is also incredibly fast, being able to outspeed gunfire from a fighter jet, and being able to avoid a light speed laser. However, he sensed the laser beforehand, meaning he did not need to match the speed, which is at most, Mark 21.86. Now, for durability, Kono Sensei, due to his regeneration, could heal from almost anything, like grenades specifically designed to kill him, and drive over 470 rounds of ammo. His ultimate defense form is stated to be stronger than a nuclear bomb as well. Now, with all this power and durability, what's Kono Sensei's weaknesses? Boobs. Excuse me? It's a long story. What you need to know is, his main weakness is lack of brute strength, usually having to use his speed to make up for it. And he always puts the lives of class E before his own. And if his heart gets completely destroyed, Kono will immediately die. Which is how his story ended. After defeating the second reaper, Koro Sensei had to be put down by the students of class E. Knowing what had to be done, Koro Sensei died a beloved teacher. But not only his students, but by me. He's so cool, goddammit! Overall, Koro Sensei was an assassin and powerful foe, but also a great teacher. You may be exceptionally strong, but I'm exceptionally clever! <laughs> Don't worry, children, he's fine. With the combatants set, let's end this murderous debate. I'm sorry, but class is out for today. Aren't kids something special? Some days they are enjoying their peaceful lives, full of hope, and then there are the days of where all they want to do is cause major despair. Nice try, although I don't appreciate you destroying my classroom. I'm just getting started. I'm sorry, did I miss something? Interesting choice for a way to take me out. Too bad it won't happen again. This is fun. Why are you so annoying? All right then, let's kick this up a notch.
How many of you are there? I don't think you understand. You may be the Reaper, but I am the ultimate despair! Let's end this for the both of us. Should do it. But how? You idiot! I'm beyond death! I am immortal! I am despair! <laughs> Like I'm eating good tonight! <laughs> Looks like Koro Sensei couldn't cause this teddy bear to feel despair. This fight is actually insanely close. The two may not survive some nasty ah. shit. However, Monokuma should take this due to the sheer amount of hacks he has. Monokuma, through his sheer execution possibilities, would always keep Koro on his toes, due to him surprisingly being faster, although slightly. Koro Sensei can dodge bullets, yes. But Monokuma can scale to Mukuro, who can move so quickly bullets are frozen in time to her. Koro Sensei can catch missiles, Genocide Jack can slice through them. These feats surpass Koro, even if he is more visually impressive. Making speed in this fight not a major factor since they were so close, meaning we have to look at other feats. When it comes to durability without his ultimate defense form, Monokuma takes the cake, being at city block level, while Koro, large building level. But with the ultimate defense form, well, yes, being able to withstand a nuclear bomb isn't a factor in this fight, due to Monokuma's speed, as I did earlier. Making to everybody also not matter here, no, some of you thinking, but isn't Koro smarter? In pure experience, yes. However, Monokuma is a computer AI, meaning most information would be more accessible to Monokuma before Kono making him smarter. Also, keep in mind, Monokuma has an entire army of robots that Koro has no way of putting down for good, while Monokuma has multiple execution methods that most likely kill Koro, one stab to the heart and Koro Sensei is out of the spike. At the end of the day, Monokuma had the speed, intelligence, and sheer ability to keep Koro on his toes. The winner is Monokuma! Hey kid, do you want a wiener in your mouth?